Hi everyone, this is John Michael for a new episode of Aranda Power. And right now, uh, I just want to explain a little bit more the concept of my new uh, decoration. <coughs> Sorry. So, um, as you know, I really like to change my aquascape. And the previous one uh, was really interesting to me. And I really like it. Uh, and this is why it lasted uh, two months. Uh, or even two and a half month. So he really lasted uh, re uh, for a long time, and I was really reluctant to uh, change it. But with the uh, new fish, so uh, the barbs and uh, the remaining corridora, uh, I wasn't feeling like uh, that aquascape was uh, the best for those fish. In fact, um, at the really early beginning, uh, this aquascape was uh, mainly uh, built to provide shelter for ghosts, since uh, back then ghosts have been uh, attacked and I actually um, put him in the red bucket so he, can, he could uh, recover. And when I introduced him back, I really wanted him to have a hiding spot, so this uh, uh, tower and after that I just really uh, realized that since it's it have been uh, pretty much a year or so uh, since I tried to build a really natural looking uh, aqu aquascape but never really um, find the scape I really liked for a long amount of time I just decide well you know what I'm going to um, stop trying to do a uh, really natural scape and try to do a uh, more fantasist and more uh, irrealistic scape uh, but yet beautiful and uh, quite amusing so the last scape uh, was pretty much a good uh, mix of that it was perfect for ghost uh, since he had a lot of space to move and to get away uh, from RP the one that was uh, finnipping him and also have a lot of shelter for the um, corridoras but now I wanted um, something new so the new fish, the barbs um, whoa sorry a bit of a too big zoom on uh, ghost face but yeah for the barbs and everything to have uh, more space to hide and also to be more interesting and <coughs> also I I really wanted to have more coloration in the aquarium and so I decide well you know what since Rex uh, Caesar one of my uh, Daniels and two of my new fish have died and I just want to bring some happiness again in my aquarium I'm just going to uh, change completely the decoration and uh, prepare myself for uh, the moment when I'm going to add uh, uh, some new fish to replace the dead so <coughs> sorry I'm I'm a, a bit uh, sick right now but yeah um, so I decide well you know what uh, since I'm uh, cleaning completely the aquarium uh, doing a big uh, aquascape uh, water change sorry uh, trying to eliminate everything that uh, could possibly be uh, in the water and to have the a pristine quality of water uh, why not change the aquascape and this is what I did and I actually did it uh, with the um, with the daughter of uh, the boyfriend of my sister so the daughter of my sister's boyfriend uh, and she really helped me pick up uh, the decoration she liked and I uh, placed uh, placed the decoration uh, with her so <coughs> really um, I'm glad uh, to have did uh, that with uh, with her uh, it was really a fun experience so it's not uh, only my idea uh, all of this I only was the one uh, placing the decoration and um, in a way that the goldfish and everything will be uh, able to swim correctly but yeah she really choose the 
pink uh, coloration of this uh, decoration she really liked it and really liked the um, the pink flower and she really liked uh, that decoration as well and yeah I, I decided to keep them even if um, I had other plans in mind but yeah I find that um, sometimes the aquascape I prefer the most is the one I just do uh, in the spare of the moment instead of overthinking it and then uh, just coming with an idea that I just like for only a couple of days so really I'm surprised uh, how stunning the aquarium look and yeah I hope everyone uh, love my new uh, scape uh, the barbs and even the goldfish really seems to uh, like it um, I really like to see them uh, swim through the rocks and the moment I introduce this uh, big mountain uh, the two goldfish they were just swimming around and uh, passing right uh, through this little gate right here uh, so I knew that the goldfish really liked it and as you can see there is plenty of place for them to uh, swim around and go uh, up there and not scratch themselves and really I place everything so the goldfish, uh, even if they are clumsy, they won't hurt themselves and uh, there is enough uh, space for the corridoras uh, to hide, like uh, this big cave, right now Bandit is in this uh, big cave enjoying himself, but he can also hide uh, beneath the hole and beneath there and uh, also beneath the plants. Let me just... Uh, show you a little so as you can see there is really a large uh, portion that is reserved for uh, free swimming for the goldfish and as you can see there is really a lot of uh, place for them to swim around the big mountain um, so yes and also uh, the sponge filter is pretty much hide uh, but there so we don't really see it as much as in the previous one so I really like this cape um, I mean even if the tree decoration are pretty much in the same line uh, there is kind of a really good effect of uh, of perspective uh, with the two plants uh, the two plants right here really give a good effect of perspective and the fact that uh, there is like two big uh, tall structure and then in there it's create like a volley I really liked it um, <coughs> so yeah I really hope you enjoyed it as well and um, leave a comment if you do bye